Hello and welcome to the Biz Couch. My guest today is Mr. Roland Agambiri, the man behind the Hope City project. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Do you have any element of doubt as to the chances of Hope City becoming a reality? The RLG brand itself is growing widely across Africa and is a main anchor in making sure that Hope City becomes a realization. I started mobile phone repairs and assembling in this country 14 years ago. I did this with the hope of changing the mindset of what the African see ICT to be like. I remember the first time I told people that, look, I want to have a mobile brand and to be able to assemble. They laughed at me and felt that it was never a reality. Hope City, as I speak to you today, is a reality. It took me almost five years thinking about what can be iconic for Africa. In the future, where ICT is concerned, what are your expectations for Ghana? Africa is the future. Why am I saying so? You have all the natural resources, you have all the human resources, and you have everything that it takes to create wealth. What is lacking is the fact that your mindset is that you're poor, your mindset is that you don't have the technology to turn all these natural resources into a process or a finished product that can give value. You don't even believe in yourself that you can add value to your life and that can create an environment for others to be attracted and want to live in, in Africa. Now, the significance of Hope City is to change this mindset. It appears that in the 21st century, the young people are at the helm of affairs. What are you looking at in young entrepreneurs? Young entrepreneurs should have passion for what they do and be able to do it well. Young entrepreneurs need to look at how do you produce wealth for several people to benefit from it. When you look at technology that we're using today, the technology was produced from an individual, but it's being used by the society, which is generally accepting an idea of an individual. That is what entrepreneurship is all about.